Welcome back guys. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting our mind IP for Web01 and putting it on our, on our Flask application in Web02. So that means that Web02 and Web01 will be getting the mind IP of Web01 and putting it in the Flask application. Now, uh, technically we, we can use Jinja to do this, but since we already have a Python application, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a, a uh, we're going to call a Python library. Now, th there can be some security concerns here, so use this at your discretion, uh, but at your discretion, I'm sorry, not discussion, at your discretion, uh, and, you know, go with your security advisor on what they want you to do. So, because Salt Minion can pretty much, if you have it set as root, it can run anything, so be careful with that. You might not want to put that up as front end. Um, so, but I'll go ahead and show you the way, you know, just in case you do want to go that route. Um, and go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be importing this uh, salt client caller, and we're going to be instead of running test.ping, like in this, in this example, we're going to be running mine.get, and we're going to get the IP of Web01 and put it in the application directly. So let's go ahead and pull up the application. So here, just like in the example, I'm going to be importing salt.client. And here I'll make a variable. So um, mind IPs, for example, is equal to salt dot dot client dot caller. I believe that's what it was. Caller. Yes, caller. Okay. So uh, web one IP is equal to mind IPs. And we'll say it's mind IPs uh, dot cmd cmd mind dot get, and we're gonna say it's web01, and we're gonna get the network. Oops, we're getting the network dot ipaddrs. Actually, there's less of a security concern here because we're passing this into the um, salt client, we're not actually calling any sort of method since we're passing it as string. So again, follow up with your security advisor, see what they want you to follow. Okay, so I know, for example, that when we call the uh, mind.get, it's going to go ahead and return dictionary format. So I'm going to make sure that I get just the IP and not anything else. So this is the IP from web01 dot format and we'll say oops make sure I have my space there or my spacer there um so that it is web01 ip and it's for web01 and that returns a list so we're going to get the only one that's in the list which is the zeroth item this should go ahead and return our IP. So let's go ahead and add this and commit. Now I get web01 P and push. All right. So now over here, let's go ahead and do a git pull. Great. And now we'll do a high state only on Web02 just to be safe. And I'll make sure I get out of this directory just so I don't mess with anything. All right, so it made our changes. And it, I don't know why I made this change, it's the same thing, so there's no need to worry about that. Uh, there's our there's our two new variables, and everything else is good. So it restarted uh, Flask app. So we should be able to see it if we go to our, I've got it pulled up here. We refresh this. There it is. Hello from Salt. This is, this is the IP of Web01. And this is the internal IP, obviously. So that's pretty much how you use it with a Python application. Uh, in the next video, 
we'll be using it with something other than Python applications. So that means we'll be calling that same mind IP with a, uh, with a Jinja template. So I'll have to see you guys then.